don't know where that is, but next destination is Konya. This Airbnb was good to us. Thank you, Airbnb. When I was a kid, I used to have a stack of Nat Geo magazines. And I remember in one of them seeing a picture of men spinning in dresses. And from what I remember, it seemed like it was from a fairy tale world. Somewhere hidden, some secret city that I probably would never get to. But in this video, we go to that secret city. And it's kind of cool because I'm not just looking through a picture anymore. Uh, we're still driving actually, going through uh, these mountains on our way to where? Konya? Konya. On our way to Konya. And yeah, we just want to say so far we've really enjoyed your country, your landscape, the people here, your food. Overall, we really love it. We love you. <laughs> Thanks for being awesome. That's our new, that's our Airbnb, that's our hotel. When we arrived in Konya, we didn't actually know that this was where the whirling dervishes were. My knowledge from that Nat Geo magazine hadn't really sunk in for the last 20, 20 years or so, I guess. But we were informed by the hotel owner that the ritual, the Sama ritual, or the, their whirling prayer was going to be performed that night at the museum slash center. I can't remember what the building was, but it was right next to the mosque. In a Turkish elevator. <laughs> it's so different. It feels so nice. Thank you. These girls are talking so much, so I just close the door. This is our bedroom. The coolest thing, actually this roof is super cool. Check out that roof, so cool. But the coolest thing is just over here. You can't even tell it's a room. These guys are going through it right now. It's just a mirror, she lives in a mirror. Except, it is a room. It's so funny, she's literally in a closet. Yeah, super cool hotel. It's called Araf. Is it Thursday today? Yeah. Actually? Yeah. That was fun. <laughs> so what did we just find out? We just found out that there's some show going on at the museum today and we happen to be super lucky. <laughs> the whirling dervishes. So lucky. <laughs> whirling dervishes. Really whirling famous. dervishes. Yeah. Those dancing. Yeah, with dresses oh. on. Yeah. So we walked through the square to ar and we arrived just on time to see the performance. What a cool square, huh? That's so pretty. I feel like the color of the whatever the buildings are made out of. And the sunset glow is just beautiful. Cool. We found it. We found it. I think we're waiting for it to start though. <gasps> Look at the lights back there. Are you guys so excited? Yeah, so excited. What an unexpected surprise. <laughs> we're so lucky. Yeah. The Sema is performed by the Mev Levy, who are a Sufi order in Konya. It was founded by the followers of the 13th century Persian poet Rumi. The Mev Levi are also known as the whirling dervishes, and they're famous for the practice of whirling as a form of prayer or remembrance of God. All right, it's about to start. It's about to start. The Sema ceremony is broken up into four parts, which all have their own meanings. The first part is the beginning of the ceremony where one singer offers praise to Muhammad. In the second part, the dervishes bow to each other and they proceed in a single file around the hall. After all the dervishes have done this, they kneel and remove their black cloaks. As far as I read, the white gown symbolizes the shrouds of their egos, their black cloaks symbolize their grave, and their tall brown hat symbolizes the tombstone of their ego. The third part is the central part of the Sema. It's where you see those four dances where they spin. What I read is that the spinning that they do is also a symbolic imitation of the planets in the solar system spinning around the sun. As they spin, they all rotate around their left foot and their right palm faces towards heaven to receive God's blessings, and their left hand points to the ground to transfer the blessings to the earth. They start and stop whirling four times, and each time has a different meaning regarding their relationship to God.
During the final dance, the sheik also joins them while the dervishes spin and circle around him. And lastly, is concluded with a prayer. The origin of the Sema is pretty interesting. The story goes that Rumi was walking through the town marketplace when he heard a rhythmic hammering from the goldsmiths. And it's believed that he heard the apprentices, while they're beating the gold, actually praying to God as they hammered. He was so filled with happiness that he stretched out his arms and started spinning in a circle. And I guess that's how the practice of the Sama and the dervishes was born. So, anyways, I couldn't really think of anything else more profound to say after this, except it was really cool to see. And I didn't, couldn't think of a way to tie this back to me as a kid looking at Geo. So I'm just going to cut back to us and what, however we reacted in the moment after seeing these whirling dervishes. Supposedly you can see in Istanbul but as well. Konya is the birthplace. Yep, this is where it all started in the city. In this and this province. So cool. So interesting. Humanity is so interesting. Humans. Religion is so interesting. Yeah.